Recognizing the fact that the use of the books is more important than the possession of them, it is sought to provide every facility that might ease the task of the trained researcher or the ordinary reader. Key to the entire system is the main catalog, a complete detailed listing of the millions of books. In these trays, there are over 16 million signposts to help the reader find exactly what he's looking for. Due to space and upkeep concerns, you'll be hard pressed to find a library today that has its entire collection represented in a card catalog. Patrons use the Rapid City Public Library's online public access catalog, or OPAC, to find materials, even from the comfort of their own homes. In this video, I'll show you how to search the OPAC and put an item on hold. There are two ways to access the Rapid City Public Library's catalog. The first is by clicking Catalog on the main page, www.rapidcitylibrary.org. This option is best if all you want to do is search our collection. The other way is to click My Account and sign in. This way, you can easily view your library card account, renew items, and place holds. You don't have to do this at the beginning, though. You'll have the option to sign into your account anytime you wish. This is the basic search screen. The first thing you should do is select the Rapid City Public Library from the Change Library drop-down menu. You can search other libraries, or even all the libraries in the South Dakota Library Network. But, for our purposes, RCPL is just fine. When you make your selection, the page will refresh. You can search the catalog in a variety of ways. Words Anywhere is the broadest search. This searches an item's entire record for the terms you supply. Title words will only search the title portion of the record, but if you only know the beginning of a title, you can also search that way. Author has two search options as well, both author words and author by last name. The subject search works best if you know the Library of Congress subject headings. My personal favorite is the Words Anywhere search. By clicking Limit Search, we can bring up an optional set of parameters for our search. These include format, language, year span, and collection. Format is nice, especially if you're looking for a book versus a DVD or an audio version of a title. You can search multiple languages if you'd like. And, if you're looking for something specific to a collection, such as fiction, nonfiction, biography, picture books, or something like that, you can limit your search in that way, too. Of course, the more limits you set, the fewer results you'll get. I want to search for To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, but I want the book, not the movie. I'll search for it using the Words Anywhere option, but I'll limit my results to just books. My search returned 11 results. The results screen is split into four columns, author, title, publication year, call number, and availability. The call number column tells me where in the library these titles can be located, as well as which branch. Next to that, in the column labeled Library Owned slash Out, you can see if the title is actually in. The first number is how many copies the library owns, and the second is how many are checked out. I'll warn you, though, just because something says it's in the building doesn't always mean it's on the shelf. For instance, that item could be on the hold shelf or on order. Since I want the actual novel by Harper Lee and not cliff notes or criticisms, I'm only going to look at the results that have Lee Harper in the author column. It looks like results 9, 7, and 11 are what I want. By clicking on any of these titles, I can see the full view of those records. I'll click on number 7 in the list, which is the record for the large print version of the novel. The full view of a record gives us lots of information, including a physical description of the item and subject headings. For instance, if you wanted more novels about girls in southern states, you could click on that subject heading. I want to know if this title is in, so I'm going to click on All Items. This is the availability screen. It can be reached by clicking on All Items from the full view of a record, or by clicking on the numbers in the Library Owned Out column on a results page. The screen gives us more information about the availability of the item. It looks like this one is checked out at the moment and due back on February 9th. To return to our results list, click Results List at the bottom of the page. It looks a lot smaller, doesn't it? But don't worry, all of the other results are still here, just on the previous page. Because we looked at result number 7, it's now at the top of this new list. Instead of clicking on the title again, let's go straight to the availability screen for result number 9 by clicking on the number in the Library Owned Out column. 
There are two items attached to this record. One of them is lost, and the other is checked out and due back on February 8th. Lost items are items that have been overdue for 60 days. If you come across an item where the only copy we have is lost, don't hesitate to fill out a materials request form to have it replaced. Our collection is very patron-driven, so we may not think to replace it until someone lets us know that they want it. Let's look at the other copy attached to this record. It's checked out, but see where it says requested? At least one person is on hold for this item, so the person who has it checked out won't be able to renew it. Let's check the last record. Both items attached to this record are checked out. Let's go ahead and put one of them on hold. We can do this by clicking on Request next to either of the items on this screen. This will take us to the login screen. It's the same as if we were to have clicked on My Account from the library's homepage. When you log into the catalog, you'll need your library card number handy. That's the number on the back of your library card. Make sure you select Rapid City Public Library from the drop-down menu next to Library. Type in your library card number and your password. Don't worry, your password is just your last name, all lowercase. The Hold Request screen gives us some options related to this request. We can choose which branch of the library we'd like to receive the item at, a deadline for the hold, and we can also provide additional information if we want. When everything is how we want it, all we have to do is click Submit. This screen verifies that the request went through. From here, we can easily start a new search, go back to the item we requested, or print this confirmation. I'm done searching, so I'm going to click End Session in the top menu bar. Ending your session is always a good idea, especially if you're using a public computer. The catalog will ask us if we really want to log out, and then take us to the login screen again. It's courteous to reset the page by selecting Rapid City Public Library from the drop-down menu, and then clicking Guest to bring up the search page again. That way, the next person to use the catalog can jump right in. Of course, if you're searching from a personal computer, just closing the window is fine. That's all there is to searching and placing an item on hold in the Rapid City Public Library's online catalog. Check out the library's website and YouTube channel for more videos on how to use library services. If you ever have any questions or difficulties with the catalog or any of our other services, don't hesitate to contact a library staff member. Happy searching!